Excuse me, suffering. So I woke up today and I'm just having an allergic reaction to something. I have no idea what it is, so uh, just bear with it. But my nose is just acting like Forrest Gump because it just won't stop running. But a highly requested video today was to take a look at the Terry Crews Amazon commercial. So we're diving headfirst into that today. So if you don't know who Terry Crews is, he's an American actor best known for his roles on Everyone Hates Chris, The Old Spice Commercials, and Brooklyn 911. It's me. Also, our boy Terry is not a stranger to backlash, so this is nothing new for him. The reason Terry got so much backlash is because he did a commercial for Amazon, or more specifically, to become an Amazon worker. But not in the Shaq commercial way where he's like, uh, uh look at this product I use, and uh, here's me making a face beside the product. Also, a fun fact, this is this is not actually Voss water. I, I, I bought the Voss water bottle like ages ago, and now I've been refilling it for the last month. So here we are. You and every white girl in America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking Deer Park water in disguise. But instead of selling a product, Terry is essentially just acting as a Amazon warehouse employee in an attempt to sell people onto the, the fact to just work in a damn uh, in an attempt of selling people onto the uh, Amazon workhouse wife. In an attempt to sell the Amazon workhouse lifestyle to the people. In an attempt to sell people on working for Amazon. In an attempt to sell the whole job life. But instead, Terry is acting as a Amazon warehouse employee in an attempt to sell the job. I guess they're still looking for replacements after firing that employee for doing this on the job. The most shocking thing about that video is the fact that the Amazon employee could actually take a break to do that in the first place, which is allegedly not the easiest thing to do if you work for Amazon, which is why I guess Amazon brought in the heavy cavalry or the reinforcements to recruit more warehouse workers because there's nothing like fixing rumors of awful working conditions like hiring Terry Crews to be a warehouse worker. They should have hired a, what's his name? The YouTuber that we, that used to work at Subway. <laughs> Jumane. Yeah. Go to Subway. <laughs> Jumane Amazon. Jumane Warehouse. Jumane Warehouse. Now that that would you just upload that on the Jumane Struggles channel. People are calling Terry out for being a sellout for this. They're they're saying it's it's bad to be a rich man acting like a working class person. I'm a little torn on that. I, I don't really believe that narrative. We have plenty of rich actors who play everyday people because that's how you relate to those people in movies. So in my opinion, it's fine in movies or shows, but it's a little bit odd when you're trying to sell a work experience that doesn't have the best reputation. We're here. I heard Amazon was hiring a bajillion people and thought I'd take a look for myself. Do you have to go with the arrow up? Yeah. The arrow up. So Amazon does pay for tuition? Yep. So what do you think my major should be? Hi, Savannah. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Wait, I get to drive a forklift? Benefits, tuition, and flexible hours. They're hiring everywhere, so check it out for yourself. Terry's out here playing Broke People Simulator. It kind of reminds me of that Drake music video where him and Future just essentially cosplay a bunch of retail workers. But Terry was paid to post this on his TikTok account, which is honestly smart on Amazon's part because it's probably way cheaper to buy a advertisement on Terry Crews' TikTok than paying for a whole TV spot. You know what? Actually, it is genius because all of the people on TikTok have made it very apparent that they do need jobs, especially after the whole couch guy situation. People need jobs because people have way too much free time to be speculating on if couch guy is cheating or not. So Jeff Bezos was clearly like, y'all need jobs. You guys are suffering anyway, so you might as well just come suffer at this warehouse. And even Amazon itself is getting backlash, but also when isn't Amazon getting backlash? But people are saying that it's kind of funny that Amazon can afford to pay for Terry Crews to advertise instead of uh, paying workers more. I'm a little torn on that one as well because it's a whole lot cheaper to uh, buy an ad from Terry Crews than just pay every worker at Amazon one extra dollar a year. Because you know, Amazon Amazon is a public traded corporation that has stockholders and they have to produce profits. So therefore it's cheaper to pay for a Terry Crews ad than to give everyone a raise. Oh, everyone's gonna be so mad. Well, it's just like, yes, obviously that's like not the answer people wanna hear, but that's just like the sad truth of how everything works. And also from what I've read, Amazon doesn't actually underpay their employees when you compare them to other corporations and they give them a whole bunch of benefits. Again, this is just information for what I can find online. I have zero experience working at Amazon. So if you work or I've worked at Amazon, 
Amazon, feel free to correct me in the comments down below. But it's the work conditions which are worth criticism here. And also their policies. Yeah, but that, that like the policies create the conditions. Fair, yeah. So it's, it, I mean, both are bad, I guess. And also, wasn't there a case of like a guy having a disability and then he just didn't get it randomly at some points? I'm not sure. Um, I read about but that. But the thing about that, like, it's a mega corporation. There, there's always going to be things that slip through the cracks that are most likely going to be corrected in the future. So it seems like the problem isn't that Amazon's paying their employees too little. It's the fact they put them through hell just to get their paycheck. And nobody should be put through hell just to get a paycheck. Like, if you have to skip going to the bathroom just to get your correct hourly pay, something's seriously wrong. But I mean, hey, thanks to Terry Crews, I now know they offer benefits. So that's at least a step in the right direction. But speaking of Amazon acting like a fool, Jeff Bezos was also clowned on in the past week. This is because when Jeff Bezos and his new girlfriend attended an art gallery in LA, I guess they bumped into Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio gave all of his time to Jeff Bezos's girl and just kind of like side-eyed Jeff Bezos and walked away. And this clip went viral because it seems like the Jeff Bezos's girlfriend was super fixated on Leonardo DiCaprio, all while Jeff Bezos was standing there hopeless looking like Caillou. <laughs> I mean, hey, if, if I was Jeff Bezos in that situation, I would be like, we're done here. We're leaving. Deuces. <laughs> But that clip is just embarrassing for everyone involved because the girl probably knows that Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't seem interested in any girl above the age of 21. She comes across as a massive gold digger and Caillou's just Caillou here. But somehow this all just gets so much worse because Jeff Bezos just had to come out on Twitter and respond with this. Leo, come over here. I want to show you something. And as you can see, Jeff Bezos is standing uh, over a sign in that position that guys use. Uh, it's called like, isn't it called like the guitar position where it kind of like pushes your bicep. So it looks like you're, you're little bit bigger than what you actually are. And the sign just says danger, steep cliff, fatal drop. Like he's going to get one of his bodyguards to throw Leonardo DiCaprio off a cliff. Maybe he'll send Terry Crews on him. Who knows? But hey, what do you think of all this? Do you think it's morally wrong for Terry Crews to accept this advertisement? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Yes, I think it's a little corny and cringe, but other than that, I don't see too much wrong with it. Oh, and also, do you think Bezos is kind of mad that it seems like Leo can steal his girl if he wanted to? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for bearing with me being sick. I'm not really sick. I'm just, I'm just having an allergic reaction to something. I'm allergic to like a million things. So it's like playing a charades game every time I need to figure out what I'm actually having an allergic reaction to. I'll be figuring out whatever I'm reacting to. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.